What is up guys, it's DJ Martini Midwest coming at you with another video for my channel. Today I have a really cool pair of headphones for you. They're gaming headphones. They are the Cosair Void Elite Stereo Headphones. They do work with a bunch of different platforms including PC, PS5, PS4, Xbox Series X, Xbox One, and the Nintendo Switch. So really cool pair of headphones we're going to get into in just a second. I just want to thank everybody for liking, subscribing, and sharing. If you guys are interested in DJ Martini videos, I do tech reviews, I do item reviews, I do all kinds of reviews. I'm honest, I like to just bring you guys a little bit of information, a little bit of knowledge about the product. So if you guys wanna make a, a purchase on it, that's gonna be up to you guys. I also like to do items that you just don't see a lot of videos on. You might, Some might be expensive, some might be inexpensive, but I like to put that information out there. That way you guys can make a decision a little bit better if I go ahead and pick them up and then bring you guys that info. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. Let's get into the video. All right, guys, so let's talk about these Cosair gaming headphones. I was actually very surprised. Uh, quick story, I picked these up around Christmas for $39 at Walmart very fantastic deal now they are $59 uh, so you will have to pay $59 for them but it was a pretty lucky deal that I found them and I just needed to upgrade uh, from some I believe some Plantronics for some rig 400 HX's you can see these right here I had these for actually two years and they actually survived pretty well but I started having issues with the microphone and of course if you guys are big gamers you know if you start having issues with your microphone your fellow gamers start giving you a little crud. So I had to go and upgrade and get a little bit better of a microphone uh, so I could go ahead and continue playing. Now I'm not a big gamer, but I do like to have a decent pair of headphones and uh, a decent mic. And I thought those would actually work pretty good. They were $30, uh, not the most expensive headphones, those rigs, but they did work uh, pretty exceptionally for two years. Uh, like I said, I just had started issue uh, with the microphone towards the end, so. Let's talk about these Cosairs though. These are an absolute upgrade, guys. These, like I said, for retail $59, and I picked them up for $40, uh, $39. So let's talk about uh, the construction real quick, guys. We'll get into them. Uh, pretty nice, a little plasticky on the top. They are all plastic except for the swivels are metal, which is kind of impressive, little metal swivels. The, I was a little worried because I'm pretty used to the like a normal pair of headphones, you know, a circle uh, oval style headphone. And these just have a just a crazy looking ear cup. So I didn't know if I was going to like them or if they were even going to fit my ear right. You know, I, I kind of have big ears. So uh, I was kind of worried that they weren't going to fit correctly, but I wanted to give them a chance. And so I did. And luckily I did because I'm actually pretty satisfied with them. So. Uh, memory foam on the top here guys very very nice very very comfortable comfortable to wear for a long periods of time um, I'm not a severe gamer. I'm not a huge gamer, but I will play for an hour or two and these are Absolutely wonderful to wear for that amount of time. So no problem with that guys uh, I wanted to show you on the left This would be the left ear cup here. You do have a satisfying mute button to push here very very nice there and then you do have some volume control on the headphones which actually it doesn't interconnect to your device that you're using it actually will add a little bit more volume to whatever device you're using so these actually get pretty loud so it's actually pretty nice there uh, once again i'm just going to show you the tops and sides uh, when you pull these out you do have some little measurement bars there so you can remember where you put them and then set them for that and then you're good to go every time so very nice there they got the logo on the side. So now these have probably been upgraded. These are, you know, I, like I said, I bought them at Christmas and I've seen some older models that look exactly pretty identical, but they, they have maybe the, the logo on the top here or something like that. So they're very similar to other models. So I will leave, a, 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 I will leave in the description a you know link for these particular ones that I, at Walmart, like I said, for $59. And I will try to find the ones I think I saw them on Amazon as well. Uh, I will also leave a link for the RGB ones if you guys want little lights or you know RGB red, blue, green lights to make them light up. That's up to you, but I pretty much think they're pretty similar. The microphones might be a little bit different too, but very similar headphones when you're talking about that. So like I said, 
I do like the design. They are flexible, comfortable, a memory foam on the pads and the top here. The microphone, like I said, is very nice. It is adjustable. Uh, you do have to do a little extra work to get it to exactly where you want them. And it does have a standard 3.5 millimeter jack with a three pole. It has you know, your two channels and then for your microphone as well to work with most devices. And we're gonna go ahead and put these on. I'll show you what they look like. They do have some natural noise reduction. I don't know if I'm talking a little bit louder, but they're probably not the best. Uh, and, and you know, they're definitely not made. Uh, anywhere on the box does it say noise reduction or anything, uh, but they do have some natural noise reduction. So that's kind of nice to have in a pair of headphones. So as soon as you start playing music, as soon as you start playing your game or video, it's gonna block out a little bit. Uh, like I said, it's not the best, but it's pretty actually pretty pretty good. So, like I said, here's your 3.5 cable. The cable itself is connected to the headphones, which is kind of a, a negative in my opinion. I wish that you could take this out, uh, especially when I tell you a little story in a second. But I wish you could take the. It almost looked like it could come out at first, and so I kind of pulled on it a little bit, but it did not come out. So, uh, but yes, I wish you could replace the cable. It would be nice. This is a 10 foot cable, but like I said, I wish it was able to be able to take it out. So it is nice to have a long cable, but I wish you could take the cable out. Other than that, guys, like I said, metal sides, plastic top, ear cups are actually plastic as well, but nice memory foam and the actual, uh, like ergonomics and, and the way that these are built do fit on my ears pretty well. And like I said, I have some pretty big ears. Like I said, you do have to play with this a little bit to get it in the right place, but it does adjust fully up and down. So that is nice there too. So I will give you a quick sound test on the mic and how it sounds. Mic check one, two, three, four. This is a mic check with the pop filter on the pop, 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 pop filter on mic check one two with the Cosair Void Elite stereo headphones mic check one two three four testing one two three four this is a mic audio check for the Cosair Void Elite stereo headphones this is a mic check one two three four one two three four Guys, hope you enjoyed the sound test. Hope we've, hopefully you guys were wearing some headphones as well so you can get a good overview of what the mic sounds like. I think the microphone sounds pretty good. Uh, I was very surprised on how good it sounds for, you know, $59. So very impressed with that. And, you know, now I'm back to gaming and my microphone is working pretty well. So overall, guys, I positives and negatives. I'm really impressed with these. There's a lot more positives than negatives, guys. In my book, the price point is right. The microphone sounds really good. Uh, there is some adjustability with them, you know, to be able to, you know, make them bigger or turn the microphone up and down, th those types of things. Uh, very comfortable to wear. I was really surprised, even though the way they're shaped oddly, they do fit on me very, very well. So I was very surprised with that. They do have some natural noise cancellation, which is fantastic. Um, my negatives, guys, is the cord i wish the cord could come out i wish you could unplug it from the headphones on some headphones in the same price range you would be able to do that or even remove the microphone uh, would be nice as well so you could just wear them as a pair of headphones um, one thing another negative that i just wanted to put out there just in case you guys are interested is so i have an iphone 12 mini and you know everybody knows if you want to listen to a pair of headphones that is corded you need a little adapter like this now this is a certified apple product and it just did not want to work right with these headphones um, i don't know if you know what's going on i did test this with other headphones especially uh, like my rig 400s i did test them and they worked just fine so i i really couldn't understand why uh, you can hear the sound but it like drops in and out it cuts out uh, volumes will go high, low, like 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 the cord is moving inside, um, but it's not. So very very weird there. Um, when I used aftermarket, this is a aftermarket uh, like Walmart brand dongle for your iPhone. It worked just fine. So I was very very confused in that. I used some other ones. Uh, I used this aftermarket cable that I got on Amazon. Worked just fine. 
and then I used this black web uh, adapter and they didn't work at all so I couldn't even get any sound whatsoever so just weird how it didn't work with certain now I tested all these with my same iPhone with other headphones and they worked just fine so it was weird that some did not work with these headphones so just a little warning out there for you guys um, it was just kind of weird especially when I was using the authentic Apple cord and it did not work right and I used an aftermarket one and it worked so just weird I just thought I would bring that to you guys for some information other than that guys like I said the negatives uh, I wish you could take the cord out I wish you could take the microphone out um, but you know not huge things uh, I was concerned about the way they were gonna fit but they actually fit pretty well so no problems with that I think the biggest two things on my mind was the cord I wish you could replace that cord that way I could actually test to see if maybe it's the cord causing me the issues uh, with my adapter so other than that guys I really think these are a great pair of headphones uh, the sound profile guys I want to go over that real quick sound profile is actually very very good I love it with videos and podcasts and and gaming they, they sounds fantastic if you watch like a YouTube video on 3d sound the sound is actually great in these headphones music on the other hand I really don't want to compare them to a music set of headphones because they just kind of set up a little bit different but if you listen to them with music, trebles and highs are fantastic. Uh, lows are okay. And then your mid-range sounds a little bit muted compared to everything else. So it's not quite muddy, but it's a little bit muted, a little bit lower volume than everything else. So, and I wouldn't quite put them in the warm category for headphones. They're kind of, uh, they, they do have some good tones, good bass, but I wouldn't absolutely say they're bass heavy or anything like warm. So they're kind of in the middle for all that. For music wise, um, you know, I definitely heard some better when it comes to listening to music, but they're absolutely acceptable, guys, is my main point here. So other than that, guys, in the box really quick, you will get the warranty guide, a little pop filter if you guys heard me on my test. And then you will also get a little splitter if you guys want to split the audio from the microphone and you have some kind of connection like that you can do that it does come with the adapter for that other than that for the price point of $59 guys an absolutely valued set of headphones in my opinion they work very good pretty good construction like I said a good feel good rest on your head microphone works exceptional and in my opinion I think it's just a solid pair of headphones they made here so gaming headphones so Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Hopeful, hopefully this was all uh, helpful to you guys and makes you a little more confident if you guys are interested in picking these up. I will leave links in the description uh, below here on the video. So if you're looking for these at Walmart or Amazon, uh, I'll also leave a link for the RGB if you guys are interested in having you know red, blue, green lights in them and that kind of thing uh, might be fun as well. But they are a little bit more expensive. So. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. It's been DJ Martini Midwest. We'll talk to you guys later.